Well, hey everyone, it's me, Herrick Kimball. It is a cold late November day in upstate New York. I am on my back patio and I've got something special, very special for you right here. This is a milk can rocket stove. As far as I know, it's the only milk can rocket stove in the world. I made this several years ago. I just hauled it out of my shed and I thought this would make an interesting video to show you how this uh, was made and how it works. So uh, we're gonna do that right now. This milk can was behind my parents' barn. All rusty, but still solid. And I'm going to demonstrate it here on my whiz -bang garden cart. All right, so there's the milk can right there and coming out the side of it, down near the bottom, is the stovepipe, all right? Four inch stovepipe and it elbows in there. There's an elbow in there and it comes up and right out the lid. Okay, and this thing right here is a shelf, which I'll show shortly. And uh, you can see the pipe uh, goes down right there. The uh, can is filled with vermiculite. I bought a bag of vermiculite and filled it with that. So that's all around the pipe. So right here's the shelf and I just made it out of a couple pieces of metal I had. That I didn't have a long enough piece, so I bolted two shorters together. And I have a little stand here, and this fits in here like that, okay? So it goes in there, and it doesn't go all the way back, but it goes back a ways. And um, what this allows me to do is feed my fuel in the top, and air comes through the bottom here. And the air in the bottom, the fuel in the top, is ideal for uh, making a hot fire. So I'm gonna start the fire with uh, a little kindling here, a little nice dry pine and a piece of paper. And I'm gonna give you a, a uh, fire starting trick here. A lot of people, most people, when they use newspaper to start their fire, they crumple it all up into a ball, right? Well, don't do that. That does not work nearly as well as a knot. And I, you know, we, we have a wood stove we heat with wood. Always start the fire with newspaper knots. Okay, roll it up like that. Put it into a knot like that. Don't ask me why. I don't know why. But this works so much better than just crumpling your paper. Little trick there. Uh, it works, try it. So uh, I'm gonna stick my knot in here and I'm gonna get some little pieces of kindling over it. This fire starts a whole lot better with a propane torch, but, and you don't need the knot, the newspaper knot. Okay, so we'll stick those all the way back. Yeah, I like the torch better. Well, we'll see how this works. Okay, we'll get us a little match here. We've got a slight breeze. The sun is coming out, and uh, it's gonna be a beautiful day, they say. We'll give that a minute to get in there. It's nice and warm. It, it is cold out here. Get the bellows effect going. I'm the human bellows. You can see it starting. Oh yeah. Okay, there you can see some smoke, smoke coming out the top. And it's not a lot of smoke. You don't normally get a lot of smoke because you get a really good combustion. Alrighty, you can see it's really going good now. Let's see if I can focus on that fire a little better. Yeah, there we go. You touch the screen and it focuses for you. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, let's take a look down the top as this thing starts to really get heated up. Let's get it right over. There, I think you can see that. She's cooking, cooking now. Here I want you to see that underneath the shelf we got some coals showing, and that's what happens. The coals burn and come down there. We can keep that air passage clean uh, as, as the wood burns and drops down there. Yeah. Feed the wood in the top and clean out the ash on the bottom as it comes down. So I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what good is that thing? Milk can rocket stove. Well, uh, I actually 
show this in my Planet Whiz Bang idea book for gardeners, where I use this with a pan on top to uh, sterilize some compost for potting soil. And I have cooked food on top. This, uh, this will hold a pan. Cooked a hamburger on there once. But for the most part, this is a novelty. Yeah, so it was on my mind, you know, for a long time. Can I do this? Will it work? It's kind of like that chicken head door knocker that I thought about for years and then finally made. I'll put a link below to that if you're interested. Okay, so we are getting the bigger wood in there now, pushing it in as it burns on the end. And the heat is getting uh, to be more and more. I, I don't know if you could see the heat waves coming off of that. There's a little bit of smoke and got some sparks flying out the top. She's cooking now. Really, really good and hot. And I want to show you how hot this actually gets. You see this right here? Let me see if I can get my finger coordinated through the camera. That right there is solder that melted. These cans were soldered together, these old cans. I didn't know that. And that top of that can got so hot that the solder melted. There's a, there's a ring of solder all the way around here. So anyway, yeah, it gets hot, especially if you put a pan on and it kind of holds the heat in. So there you go. See how that burns on the end? Very nice. Keep fading it in, keep the bottom clear, and it burns good. And uh, that's a milk can rocket stove for you. There we go. Fun little thing. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you like this, give it a thumbs up and Hey, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you could do that too. And I thank you kindly. We'll see you in the next one.